Welcome Aries to your February 2020 general reading of the beginning of the month. I hope everybody had a great January. Okay, and welcome back any subscribers and welcome all the new people. Okay, let's get into seeing what's going on in the beginning of the month for you. Okay. If you're feeling a little rough around the edges, it could be because Mars is coming in right now. Okay, so it will be in your constellation here in uh, between April, the end of March through April. It's going to, Mars is going to sit in your house. So it might kind of disrupt things a little bit. Okay, so you might start feeling that disruption right now. Okay. So let's get this going. Aries. I'm going to do this a little bit different this time. I don't like doing things the same all the time because it's kind of boring. So we're going to start this way first. I'm going to start with the Oracle cards first this time. Okay. Aries. And there it is. Sacrifice. I hope you can see that card. Uh-oh. And then I make it fall. Good job. Okay. I'm going to start that way, and then we will get the tarot cards to go with that one. Why is Aries feel like they're in sacrifice mode? This is going to be the energy that you're in right now. Okay. See what's going on. Oh, there we go. Love and the Six of Swords. These aren't liking me today, are they? Okay. So let's see. You feel like you're in sacrifice mode, which is the same pretty much as the hangman mode. Okay. Kind of doing a self-sacrifice, trying to make a new beginning for yourself, trying to do things for yourself. Okay. Have the lovers over here with the six of swords upside down. You might feel like you have a controlling, manipulative partner right now, and that's why you're kind of in sacrifice mode. Kind of sacrificing your feelings or yourself to move forward. Okay. Um, somebody, you know, is not being very true to you. So let's find out why. Let's find out why. We will know exactly what that is in just one second. New beginnings. There's that sacrifice again. Authority. This is the present that you're going through. The past is movement, choices, and decisions. And the end of the month is trapped in fear with the truth card at the outcome of the beginning of the month. So this card would be moving into the mid-month of February. Okay. And this is just pretty much telling you I'm trapped in fear and at the end I will find the truth. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, just trying to get a thing over here of why the lovers, <clears throat> excuse me, and the Six of Swords is upside down. It's like, because you have the sacrifice here, it could be showing that you're trying to really contain this relationship as well. Fighting for this relationship. Or maybe you're tired of sacrificing yourself towards this manipulative person. Tired of feeling the manipulation from somebody. It could be at work as well and trying to find the 
cooperation and reunification away from this manipulative uh, energy. Okay, I gotta back up just a little bit. Okay, and if it's not manipulation, it could just be delay or, or procrastination. Okay. Or another set of you. Let's find out what's going on because you have the new beginnings here. We're gonna find out, but I am thinking it could be manipulation because you do have this authority figure here is trying to take back the authority. It could also be. This is the same as the Emperor card, so you figure if it's upside down, that is a manipulative person. So for some of you, you could be trying to, you know, hold on to love through the manipulation. And then, of course, it could also be delays, okay? Trying to hold on, trying to unite through the delays, okay? Feeling like things are procrastinating, okay? Not moving as fast as you want them to, okay? So if this is not love as well, it could also be uh, finances, okay? A delay in your finances. So let's see what's going on here. We have new beginnings. We have the imprints, okay? Try to move these over just a little bit. Let's just don't make these mats as big as I'd like them, okay? And then you have the two of pentacles. So... This is a, a Taurus Libra card. It does not have to be a woman. You could be taking on this energy or it's just showing the new beginnings of prosperity or it could be showing a nurturing, kind, loving person who's taking on this Earth sign, this Venus. We're not even going to say Earth sign. It's Venus, actually, because Libra is Venus and uh, Taurus is Venus. So this Venetian card, okay, and you have the Two of Pentacles here. Okay, so you're juggling, okay? So maybe you're juggling around with prosperity. For those of you who this is relating to money, maybe you're trying to balance out your finances, trying to balance uh, your wealth, okay? And for others, it could be trying to balance, trying to be nurturing, trying to be a mother, trying to... Um, balance two things at once, okay? So, and then you have the Page of Swords and the Eight of Cups upside down, so... Oh, goodness. What is going on here, Aries? Let me just look at this really fast for you. Kind of an interesting story here. Well, let me pull up a couple of cards for this authority really fast. It's kind of an interesting setup that we have going on here. Read the authority here, trying to take back the authority. What is it? Offering. So then you have this authority. Offering, apologizing. Two water signs cards, so you might have a, hold on one second, okay. Okay, for one side of you, this looks like this could be manipulation, because you have a, a, the authority thing on top of this, which is this emperor type person, okay, this is a Taurus. Aries card. Doesn't mean you have to be dealing with that. Okay. It just could be the energy of the person you're dealing with. This person is coming to you with an apology. It could be that it's going to get your emotions. Oh, but it, you're unbalanced. Do you see this? So it's almost like you're doing a balancing act over here. And then you're unbalanced over here. So this person comes in and tries to give you an apology. 
you could try trying to set your emotions in check back to normal, but there's no victory. And they're making you feel unbalanced or you're getting an apology from this king of cups and you're taking your authority back. Or this bossy person is really trying to apologize for you and it's because they're set in their emotions and they're making you feel unemotional. Because then, you know, if you are dealing with a manipulative person, you know, it doesn't mean they're unbalanced. They could be sitting just pretty and making you feel weird and unbalanced. And then you have this over here. You want the new beginnings and prosperity and you don't want to juggle this, these emotions and this, you know, this drama anymore. And then here's the delay again. Two delays as well. And then you have this person over here, this page of swords, either they're spying on you or they're watching you like too closely. Or you're watching them too closely. Let's see how you got into this. This is the... <clears throat> this is the near past. It's not very long ago. Could have been a week ago. Could have been three days ago, a month ago. No longer than two months. I will tell you that right now. My cards don't really go that far in these type of readings. I try not to let them go that far. So I would say that this energy would be no longer than December. And, you know, it could have been yesterday that this happened, okay? Day before you even watched this video. So... You got the movements and choices and decisions. So in the past, you had movement, choices, and decisions. And this is where the sacrifice card is coming up. It's like you were trying to make new movements, choices, and decisions, and then it got delayed. And you were really happy about it. And now you're really happy about it. But now it's all delayed. And it's almost like, makes me feel like you're trying to get away from this, <clears throat> maybe this king of cups or this emperor. Could be any sign. I have so many signs here. One second here, Aries. So you got, yeah. So you're making movements, choices, and decisions because nothing was, you weren't going to make a leap of faith. It was more like you were thinking about it. Four of Cups, trying to make the decisions. Yeah, so you were, decision, you were in decision making about trying to make it, but you didn't want to make a leap of faith. There was... It was almost like there was nothing you could do at the time, but you wanted this. Put you into hermit mode because you're trying to think about this. Okay. So really thinking, trying to use your wisdom kind of pushing back against that person or this job or whatever this resonates with you, whatever this is. You're kind of pushing yourself back, okay? Hiding yourself out so that you could think. Yeah, because you felt that there was no collaboration with this person. Hmm. And you had this page of pinnacles and then resting again. Wow. Okay, so then you had this support. Then all of a sudden support comes in and why is the support here? Because the support comes in and then it puts you right back into rest mode again. Why is the support here? Let's find out what the support is here. Clarify on the support. Who's supporting Aries in this? Defending yourself in a relationship with support. So whoever this person is, they came in with support. I'm thinking you obviously didn't really want it. 
because it puts you back right back into rest mode. Okay, so you may have had an earth sign come in. You have a lot of earth here. So you may, for some of you, you may have had a, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn come in. You got a Taurus card here, but it was moving slowly, and they were offering, it looks like they were, were offering you support to help you within this relationship, since it looks like you're always defending yourself in this relationship, and uh, it puts you in rest mode. You were like, no, I don't... And if, it, if you did take it, it, it's just moving really slow, so. And who are they defending themselves from? The Emperor. Okay. So you're defending yourself from this Emperor, this person who's bossy. For some of you, it could be your own father, okay? Could be your grandfather, your father, an older brother, could be anybody, okay? And it doesn't even have to be male, it could be could be female. And this also could be the cross watcher. Okay, because this is an Aries card and we're talking about Aries, so just so you know. And we have a lot of Taurus going on over here. So um, however it resonates with all of you to be different, different for everybody, but definitely got this bossy person. Okay. They're trying to support you from whatever this bossy person is doing because it seems like you're, all you're doing is defending yourself in this situation within this, this union. And so it's like your energy is, I love you, but I'm tired of your manipulation. I'm tired of your procrastination. Okay, nothing's moving fast enough, so I'm putting myself into sacrifice mode. Hold on one second. Uh, I'm going to get the book for this sacrifice so we can know exactly what we're talking about here. Let's just get this book here for you so we can see exactly what they're talking about. Okay, this card represents self-sacrifice and a time when you should look around your life to see what needs to be released. By surrendering and letting go, there will be more room to receive. The rewards for this transformation, wisdom, gratitude, and enlightenment. Okay. The sacrifice card can also symbolize a period of transition and change. Well, we knew it was transition and change and new beginnings, right? The solutions you seek may be slowing, slow in coming. Well, it's funny it's slow in coming because we also have this Knight of Pentacles here, which is slow in coming. <clears throat> For it could be necessary to live into the answers. Accept the things that you can't control, heal, and leave the past behind. Move toward your future and watch for new doors opening and paths that are being shown to you. The traditional tarot is the, as I said before, the hangman. So this is pretty much like you're tired of all this stuff and so you're trying to let it go so that you can have these new beginnings. It really isn't a whole lot different from what I said, but it also says here, this would be a good moment to pause, rest, and have patience, reflect, and meditate. Well, and it does show that because we have all of these cards. That's exactly what they're doing. All of these cards are showing that that's exactly what you're doing. You're deciding, right? You're pausing and deciding, pausing and deciding, pausing and deciding, and rest. And here's the resting, right? And even the hermit could be somewhat resting. So it looks like you're doing that already. And that's just a part of this card. The overall card here. And, uh, but it looks like this person is really harsh. And that's why they're coming up as the emperor. Okay, so 
whether or not the person who's supporting you is coming in to support you and it's very slow moving. It says in that card as well that this is also a very slow moving uh, new beginning. So that could also be why this Knight of Pentacles is coming up. Okay, so that was better justification by reading for you to get some of the answers that we need. Okay, and over here, yeah, we have a lot of emperors. I mean, I mean, okay, so then you're trapped in fear. So it's starting to feel like, yeah, maybe this emperor is bossy and manipulative, and this is a manipulation card, but I'm also seeing love that's procrastination, that's like procrastinating so that I can make my new beginnings is just not going as fast as I want it to. So, okay, so let's get in this trapped in fear. So getting towards the middle part of the month, this is the near future, okay, within the next couple of weeks. You feel like you're trapped in fear, and I think you're trapped in fear because it's not so much that you're really, really trapped in fear. God, I hope nobody really feels really like that. Okay. I pray that's not really the 100% true. It's more like trapped in fear that this isn't moving fast enough. <clears throat> yeah, you're trapped in fear because of the fighting. Okay, and whether it's, we'll figure out what this fighting is. For some of you, maybe it's fighting with this emperor all the time. We're just going to leave the emperor there because that's where he was thrown. So it could be fighting with this emperor. That's why I really don't like moving my cards too much because sometimes they fall places for a reason so that they can kind of work off of each other. So put the emperor back where he was and then you have fighting with the emperor has you trapped in fear like it's never going to stop. Okay, or is it trapped in fear that, you know, I'm fighting to get this new you know this new beginning and it's just too slow moving so we will find on find out what's going on there let's figure this out okay so for some of you it is it's the it's the trapped in fear and the fighting to get this new um this new beginning started okay and maybe you still are fighting with him and that's you know you have two fears in one right? Tired of fighting with you, and I'm tired of fighting to get this new uh, beginning going, okay? Fleeing. Now we have fleeing this, this situation, escaping. Escaping this relationship. This could be a boss, too. It doesn't have to be 100%. Just because the Hierophant is here is just saying that it's something um, united, okay? It doesn't have to be a 100% relationship. It could just be a really bad job, Okay, however this resonates with you, um, you know, if, it, if it's something that doesn't resonate with you, like maybe the higher fence shouldn't be here for you, throw it away, right? Because if everything else is making sense and that higher fence just threw you off and you're like, uh, this is a job, this isn't a relationship, then whatever seems um, to not resonate, just throw it away, okay? So for some of you, it will be a relationship. Some of you, it might be a job. It could even be a friendship, whatever it is, okay? Because the emperor can be a boss because he's a bossy person. So, okay, so you have escaping. Okay, so we're going to clarify on this escaping. Okay, escaping because you don't feel like your wish is coming and you don't want this anymore. Escaping because you don't want that anymore. It was like something that you wished upon a star for that just didn't happen. I don't want it anymore. Please make it go away. I do not want that. Just make it go away. Okay. It's a burden. It's confusion. It feels wasteful. I do not want this. Right? So, you know, it doesn't always have to be exactly what it looks like it has to be. So... It's just a waste. Okay? I'm escaping this. It's a waste. And I'm trapped in fear because it feels like it's taking forever for me to escape what I don't want. Okay? 
Now, I'm not moving forward. It's, it's not going the way I want it to go. It's not moving fast enough. Here we go again with the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, let's just move on to the truth because I would like to see the outcome of this. Spirit, tell me what the truth is. Now we have the truth. I'm going to move these over just in case you cannot see that. I don't want to move them over too much, but. Okay, so now you have the truth, right? The truth is coming in. Praying this truth will set you free. Please. Oh, my Truth is strength. So the truth is strength. Okay, there's your Leo card. The truth is be courageous. Okay, so this is the outcome towards the mid-month. As I said before, this will come in towards, you know, two weeks, three weeks from now getting into the mid-month. The truth is be courageous. Okay, memories, offering, oh. Okay, so the truth is be courageous. Okay, you have the Six of Cups over here. Okay, so you might start feeling a little nostalgia. You might feel a little more um, giving. Um, to yourself, okay. But I don't know starting to think somebody's going to come give to you or maybe you're giving to yourself because we have the Knight of Cups coming in. <clears throat> you have the Knight of Cups coming in with the now take action and start manifesting for something different. So the truth is, I'm thinking this is offered to yourself. You're starting to remember the simplicities and the nostalgia of the past as you're gaining courage you're starting to see that you can take the action and start manifesting something new. The Knight of Cups could be just offering yourself a better way, doing something different, starting anew. Okay, um, expectations of something better. Okay. I would love to believe that for some of you, this is your knight in shining armor coming in to rescue you. Hey. You know, girls got dreams, right? <laughs> so, but in seriousness, that could be for somebody. Okay, that would be beautiful. But in reality, okay, in reality, it's you offering yourself the chance now to be able to think, to take the courage, think back, offer yourself a new um, law of attraction, offer yourself a new manifestation, a new idea taking the action on new um, ideas, new things in life, right? But I will say, if somebody does have a knight in shining armor coming in, man, I want to comment on that one. Okay, because that one, yeah, that one will make me really happy. I'm Taurus over here, so you know, we like our knight in shining armors. <laughs> so, uh, but let's see. Okay. Yeah, and then this will, this will, you know, because here's this fear again. Do you see that? That's the trapped and feared card. It's the same card. It's the same card. I do hate how they made it an eight instead of a nine, but, you know, give or take, different deck. But it is the same card. You're trapped in fear. So this is going to actually get you out of being trapped in fear. That's what it's telling you. It's not telling you you're still going to be trapped in fear. It's telling you you this is the energy it's going to get you out of so that you can have your ace of swords. Start the new fresh beginning. And being an ace of swords is the best swords for you. I know, unless this is financial, it doesn't even matter, right? Because even if it's financial, it's better. If it's finance, you really wanted this one because it shows that prosperity. But no matter how you see it, you know, it's still this fresh new start. It's the growth. See, you have the, let me put it underneath this light just in case the lighting's not great. Over here, you're all wilted, right? 
and then you start growing, right? So you start growing and the more you keep growing, the more you get this fresh new start and you feel all fresh, right? It's something completely different. And then this is where that sacrifice will come in and every, you know, everything's great. But, you know, it's up to you if you, you know, take this. Okay. It's up to you if you want to start becoming courageous. Start remembering. Start remembering who you are. What you're capable of doing. Okay. So, that was beautiful. And let's see what the angels have to say for you. Change that energy around. Don't let people or jobs or the world make you trapped in an energy that is not healthy. See your truth. You tr your truth is you are strong. You know, you're a beautiful person. Each and every one of us are beautiful. So, you know, we have these capabilities of getting to what we need to have. Change that energy. Getting in our power. See? Getting your power for big, happy changes. So, you know. Wow. I really had those out too far. Okay, so you have the big, happy changes. Okay. Getting your chakras all in a row. That's your energy. Right? Become the magnificent. But I will tell you one thing. You know you're worth something. Otherwise, you wouldn't be in sacrifice mode. I'll tell you that right now. Okay. You do know your self-worth. Otherwise, you would not be going through uh, sacrifice. You would have had a transition card instead. Sacrifice is like, I know I'm worth something. I know I'm, you know, worth way more than what you're giving me. That's why the sacrifice card is there. Or a peaceful resolution. Okay, the angels say you will have big ch happy changes for a peaceful resolution. Okay, and if this can be worked out, you know, it doesn't mean that, you know, this person has to go away or that you have to 100% bail from this person. Maybe it's the big happy changes and you're making this person realize, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, you need to stop this. I'm standing in my power. I'm done. You know, you want to stay with me, then let's do this. Or you want to stay with this job, then let's do this. But you're not going to treat me like this. Okay, so, you know, you're not going to treat me like this. So, you know, and that could be a huge thing too. Doesn't mean it's always over. It just means you're standing your ground. Okay. And then choose a new direction. And like I said, it doesn't have to be that direction of, see you later. For some of you it is. For some of you it's just listen to what I'm telling you. You're not going to treat me like this. I'm going to become this lion. You know. It's like I might be an Aries, but you're not going to treat me like that. Okay. Okay. And for the cross watchers, it would be vice versa. Okay. Let's get an animal card. Okay. So we have the animal cards here. Still enjoying these cards for those of you who've been here before. Yes, I love these cards. Okay, I've just never seen any drawings on cards like this before. They're just amazing. Amazing and vibrant. Okay, so it says be the ant. Okay, cooperate for the highest good of the community. Okay. In this case, I would say. Cooperate for the great of yourself. Okay. Be the ant. Be the bee. Spread heart healing with joy. You're a lot of insects right now. <laughs> I've never had so many insect cards. Okay. And this is a hardworking bee. So, you know, for those of you, this is a job. Be the bee. You know, you know, they're the hardest working, you know. 
insect on the planet, probably insect, animal, anything on this planet. I don't think anything works harder than the bee. And then you got the ant, which is probably the second hardest working creature on the planet. So I'm just waiting now for the beaver or something, right? The third hardest working creature on the planet. Okay. Come on, spirit. Don't give me another insect. I don't know how many insect cards are in here, but you know. Okay. Oh my gosh. You've got to be kidding. Okay. And be the ladybird. You are going to be insects. Okay. You're going to work really, really hard. Okay. Accept happiness and good fortune. So Aries. Okay. The beginning of the month, you are going to be insects. Okay. <laughs> and that's okay because, you know, they are really tiny creatures who work really hard. So, and I just have to say, this is the first for this. I have never picked all insect cards in a reading. So, congratulations, <laughs> I guess. Okay. So, and I was going to say I'll pick another one, but, you know, I, I'm just not going to. I think you got enough. I think there's enough for everybody to be an insect. I can only imagine the butterflies coming out next, right, for the transition. So, okay. So that was your reading. And remember, this is your outcome. Okay. And work hard towards this fresh new start. I can see that you want it with the sacrifice. So good luck. And like I said, if this resonates with anybody on that that area of this of this knight in shining armor, I would really like to know about that because that's always very intriguing. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you again for the other readings and peace, love, and joy to every one of you. Bye-bye.